Hey everybody, welcome back to Conscientious Omnivore. My name is Powell. Today I'm out here at the uh, garden and um, it's looking really pretty bad right now. But I wanted to show you guys that uh, we are into the beginning of October and uh, pretty soon I'm going to be doing the kind of fall prep just to clear this all out. Um, throw everything uh, into the compost pile, pull up all the weeds, you know, do all that kind of stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys a couple things that uh, some things are still growing and there are still going to be a little bit of things to harvest. So there's a bunch of tomatoes that are still left, some of which are actually quite nice and delicious. So I'm going to be um, you know, trying to get some better lighting here. Hold on. Um, there we go. Some really nice ones. These are some of the black tomatoes that we had, but we got a bunch left from the other ones. There's a bunch in the back as well. And uh, still got a couple of zucchinis uh, left, and I think there's some more in the back too. And um, our squash are still uh, doing okay, although these I'm going to pretty uh, harvest pretty soon. Um, these I think are ready to go. The one down here and this one. Um, this little guy probably um, not going to be quite as ripe or you know ready, but uh, but that's fine. There's another big one back here, um, which is uh, still growing and it hasn't really become. Uh, that typical blue color yet but you can see it back there it's doing quite nicely a bunch more uh, tomatoes to get from back here and uh, there's some interesting mushrooms here I'm gonna ask my brother what these are maybe he might know I wonder if they're edible I mean we have so many different kinds of uh, wood and pine and uh, all sorts of kind of different trees and shrubs and stuff for the mulch here it could have grown out from any one of those things but uh, yeah just interesting and then Wanted to show you guys back here some more tomatoes. Uh, I'm gonna pick the green ones too because you know they can still be uh, eaten. Um, they can still be put away as preserves. I might try to do some pickling. Um, I've never done that before, but I'd like to learn how. So I'm probably gonna just ask my mom for some uh, recipes or ideas of how to do it. Um, she regularly puts stuff away, and uh, I always like eating those kinds of things as a kid. What do we got here? Ooh, another huge mushroom. Look at that thing. I wonder what kind it is. That thing looks so cool. And I especially wonder if it's edible. I'm gonna ask my brother. Um, so yeah, I mean, just tomatoes galore. This one's falling down on the ground. Beautiful one. So yeah, just gotta get in here, pick everything, and um, kinda get it cleaned up. The, uh, you know, the property is looking pretty decent. I gotta mow again and uh, still waiting to find out if our sale goes through but we will see in the meantime I'll keep working on it and try to get as much food out of the place as possible and I wanted to show you guys something really quick and I'm going to compare it and let you guys see the contrast uh, between a mulched area and a non mulched area now we had a little bit of a cold spell come in um, and uh, really kind of killed off a lot of things um, that's why the like the zucchinis aren't looking so good anymore um, there's that one's still gonna be okay but uh, a lot of the tomatoes kind of got you know like frost and kind of got squashed and stuff so uh, but anyway it's been really dry the last few um, days I would say like at least maybe a week and a half two weeks we haven't had rain um, there may have been a drizzle or something but nothing serious uh, and you know as I've told you guys many times before we have not watered um, any of the garden all throughout the whole summer even during the driest months and I want to show you guys really quick if you just pull back this mulch I want to show you guys the moisture content of the soil here and then I'm going to show you guys the other garden at my in-laws place I mean it's already moist just getting through the mulch <laughs> look at this there's worms cl climbing around in here and I don't even want to disturb them, but uh, I mean it is just super moist. It's like really, really nice and um, no dryness whatsoever. And I'm going to show you guys the other side garden just for comparison and uh, let you guys see the difference. Okay, so this is the side garden at my uh, in-laws place, which is really like more like a flower garden. Uh, that my mother-in-law um, keeps up and I showed you guys how we had a whole bunch of um, tomatoes and there was even like a um, cantaloupe that grew up out of here 
and a whole bunch of other cool stuff that just grew up randomly from the compost that was added in. And I just want to show you the difference in the soil here. So, um, like I've said in previous videos, you know, my, my mother-in-law is of the, the mentality that like, you know, it's like weeds are to be pulled out. Everything's, you know, bare earth and then you just plant in what you want and you just keep everything like very heavily like cleaned and weeded and there's no like anything growing in there that you don't want growing in there. So when all the flowers were kind of dried out and the tomatoes were done, she just pretty much ripped everything out. And um, what I'm gonna do in the garden is instead just cut down at the stem, you know, at the base and then just leave everything in. It'll decompose and, and be ready to go for the next planting. Um, and I just wanna show you the difference in the soil. I mean, you can really see how dry this is. Um, like I said, we haven't had rain in probably, I don't know, like a good, maybe two weeks, I think. Um, there may have been a sprinkling or, or so just uh, here and there, but uh, but no like serious rain. Look at how dry this soil is. And while things were still growing in here, um, it was definitely looking a lot better than this. So this is kind of what happens when you disturb the, uh, you know, the soil and you just end up with this dried, um, almost like sand because it's just the sun is baking it. There's no moisture. Hey, for sure. There's nothing to retain the moisture and no ground cover, no mulch, you know, no nothing. Um, this is what ends up happening. So, um, you know, and it's a lot of extra work because now you have to water everything. You have to like replant everything. Um, yeah, this is why I'm a big fan of uh, keeping the ground cover on there and, you know, trying to avoid this. So, yeah, I just wanted to show that to you guys. And um, I think I'll just end. I'll show you a, a little clip um, from happier days when the flower garden was still kind of in full bloom and I did some more video of bees kind of flying around. So I'll end there. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, stick with me, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.